hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial today i'll show you the minimal logo design tutorials and this logo i made it from like uh, the lines or stroke this one is easy to make it out and the background which is the multiple gradient background i took it from the multiple gradient options i'll show you all the things step by step let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so go to the file and take a new options and from here you can take a artboard which is the 1200 pixel by 1200 pixel and the advanced settings the cmyk mode for the printing purpose and the medium artboard which is the 150 ppi and hit the create button you'll get the artboard like that so after that here is the rectangle tool press M from the keyboard press the shape button and hold it and draw a square shape turn off the fill color and give the stroke give the stroke thickness 60 like that and align the stroke alignment on the center and you can make it smaller so how to make it small like here you can down the percentage it will be more like that so after that select this square shape press the shift button and hold it and rotate this one press the option or alter button and drag it and you can press the shift for the proper alignment and then you have to manually adjust this one like this and then select all the things and press a from the keyboard for the direct selection tool press the shift and select the relevant anchor points which is like this and this and then drag it into the middle portion and it will be like that and after that press a from the keyboard again and select this area actually this area and delete so this portion will delete and then you can adjust the stroke like that so from here stroke portion make it round like this and like this that's good and here is two portion actually the this one and this one let's analyze the before logo like that so i rotate these things like this and here is a circle like that so i have to rotate this one selecting all the things press the shift and hold it and rotate this one like that so this one is i have to rotate this one like that and just place over here you can place it little bit portion will appear in a circle that's fine and then go to the ellipse tool and draw a ellipse like this smaller and turn off the stroke color give the fill color like this and press v from the keyboard it will take you in a move tool and select this one place it in the middle if you need you can increase the size of this yeah that's good and if you need you can decrease the stroke thickness suppose like this this one is more minimalistic and more eye catchy that's fine and you can just expand all the things how to expand these things go to the objects and expand options and hit the ok button it will be expanded and press ctrl or command g for the group uh, here align to the output and set it in a middle that's fine now time for giving the background take a rectangle tool draw a square shape which is like that and 1200 by 1200 this one is the artboard size you know that and middle alignment and then give another color like this and send it back to the next layer just follow the shortcut keys and select these things after that here is the gradient options if you don't get over here this menu go to the window and from here you will get the gradient from the middle or control or command f9 that's fine and select the multiple gradient you can select this portion and you can give another color like that double click over here you can choose the color suppose i'm giving color over here select this portion and giving this kind of color and this anchor point and here suppose giving this type of things that's good and this portion giving this type of color so you're getting like that when you are just selecting this anchor you can increase the portion 
suppose like that it will affect it and you can move it out or uh, you can just give in like that after that you can go to this portion edit portion and you can change the values of that things if you need or if you can change you need to change this one into the white color go to the fill color and make it white and if you want to give another effects like the drop shadow go to the effects and styles drop shadow and you can follow my steps like that the 75 percent for the opacity offset x offset that is 7 and y offset 7 and blur 5 pt you can customize this one i'm just decreasing the opacity percentage that's good and hit ok and then our design is ready so i made some preset and the gradient i'll provide that gradient to you and i'm just taking this gradient select this background i from the keyboard and select this one you're getting my gradient palette so i'll provide you the gradient hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to thumbs up and share with your friend until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye